you definitely can't use this quote. People call it, you know, like the dumbest bird in the West. It doesn't deserve that title, but it is pretty dorky. It's pretty goofy. Sage grouse live in places that have sage. That's their name, right? And they are really closely tied to sagebrush. They need sagebrush to survive. Their population numbers have plummeted and they've lost more than half their habitat. There's that worry that they may go extinct. Non-native grasses really don't benefit anyone. If you're a rancher or a fisherman, those non-natives are causing different problems for you. Uh, soil erosion impacting our streams. Frequent fires take away forage the cows could be eating. It's very difficult to reliably restore native plants to these desert ecosystems. If we keep losing acres of rangeland every year to these invasive species, we're gonna to get to the point it's hard to turn the corner and, and get them back. And so we started looking at different industries that might produce products that were similar to what we might want for reseeding rangelands. These Brazilian Bazzani pasta machines from Italy have been working great. So we've taken them from you know, delivering spaghetti, linguine, to now uh, sagebrush pellets. When we put them out into the field, they emerge quickly and then are prepared and they're not tiny little seedlings and they can survive through the drought. We've kind of worked on getting a mixture. We have uh, some clays here. DE helps bring in water. Bentonite helps retain that water. And then one of my personal favorites is this similar to the stuff that's in baby diapers. So certain types of liquids get in those diapers, they swell. Well, when it rains on our pellets, they swell, and that helps break up in the soil so a seedling can move up and out. We broadcast these pillows last fall. These are the sagebrush seedlings that have germinated and emerged. We hope that uh, several of them will grow up to larger sagebrush plants. That's all there is to it. It's pretty simple. They can even be tossed out of airplanes and helicopters if need be. We've developed a technology for applying surfactant to the seeds, and that allows water then to penetrate into the soil. We use the seed as a carrier for the surfactant, then we just can use a small amount of material. We can just improve that microsite surrounding the seed. We're always tinkering and changing and trying to perfect um, the new technology, the new idea. You could export this work across all of the Western United States and across the globe, wherever you have similar challenges in those arid desert lands. Pretty uh, outstanding research to be working on. It makes a huge impact in locally and globally. How great is that?